you know that the passing of the plate or the collection of the offering hasn't always been a standard feature of Sunday morning worship? Surprised? Me too. That's why we're talking about the offering plate on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. It's hard to imagine, uh, but passing the plate wasn't always necessary to financially support the church. Not until the late 1800s did churches actually count on voluntary contributions to keep their doors open. You see, just like it was in Europe, the new government of colonial America established, sanctioned, and financially supported the church. Colonists couldn't see it any, any differently. <clears throat> A prosperous society depends upon having citizens of good character. And where else would this good character come from but the church, of course. Except in 1833, Massachusetts became the last state to rescind its religious taxes. So by then, congregations in the United States had to rely solely on their members for financial support. Pastors came up with all sorts of ways to survive the free market of the 19th century America. Uh, for example, many churches actually sold a pew to their members. That way, a congregant could sleep in, come to church late, and still have a good seat. Then, after the Civil War, something new became popular. Pastors began teaching the biblical principle of tithing. God gives unto us, and we give back to God one-tenth of all that He's blessed us with. Just like that. An act of worship and a commitment to God. That sounds like the right answer to me. Still, it would be nice to sleep in a little on Sundays. 